G Money. Yo. How you doing, man? What's up, bro? Yeah, man. <laughs> you looking good. Thank you. I'm trying to, you know. Yeah. You looking not too bad yourself. I'm, I'm, you got an upside down uh, W on your... On yeah, your yeah, 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 yeah. Because I could go from winning to mad at the same time. <laughs> you hear me? Huh? Oh, my God. How's everything how, How's everything with you? Good seeing you. Cool. And same here, man. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make it through this whole, you know, remote learning thing. It's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, Dawson, Dawson been, been having me pull my hair out. I ain't, I ain't got that much hair left. And I be hearing know. you talk to them in the back. You don't play. You you, you one of those folks. You're hands on. I be wild. So I'm, 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 I'm a little stressed out today, but we, we gonna make it through. <laughs> okay, okay, good seeing you. Likewise, Shout out to Michelle. Good seeing you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna say good seeing you when you're going as well. <laughs> good see. You. I hate to see you go. Man, Hold on, man. <laughs> so long. Shout out to Basky in the building. <laughs> good seeing you, Michelle. Shit, you know. It's a lot going on. Shout out to today's sponsor, man. Sponsor alert. Sponsor alert. Yeah, sure, sure. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to KK. Collection, uh, once again, Katie's underscore corner with a K, 314. Actually, they sponsored the other episode before, and we thought 314 was the area code, but they, they're from Cleveland. 314 is actually their, their daughter's birthday. Shout out to their daughter for, oh, uh, for inspiring. Shout out to them. Inspiring the Clover line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to Katie's corner. Uh, KK Collection. Let me show the back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You see what's going on? Can you see me? No. All right. We'll post them online. Don't worry about that. You'll see pictures online and all that, but... Shout out to KK Collection, you know what I'm saying? Sponsoring today's episode. You good? I'm cool. I'm cool, man. You about to be in a lot of drama soon. Am mm-hmm. I really? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm pretty good at avo- avoiding drama. No, you can't. Well, not when it comes to me. You can't avoid me. You can't avoid me. You can't avoid me. Can't avoid. But we about to get it going. Let's do it. G Money. Yo. Episode one, eight, two. Nigga, we, we made, made it. it. We got a special Three. guest. Uh huh. Street legend. Legend. Welcome. I'm here with the family. I'm happy to be here. See with the fly two guys and stuff. The lady with the camera. <laughs> I'm here, ready to talk. Round of Let's applause go. for my man Ed Booker Smith. Booker, what up, man? Yeah, hey, man. Bug. Chilling, y'all. How, How you y'all? Feeling, bug? I'm all right. Slow motion. Just, you know, just chilling, taking them one day at a time. Mm. So, you don't really do interviews, do you? Nah, I'll, I'll be no. Nah, right. Been, Why is that? Oh, oh, no, I don't. I don't like the. You just be in a cut too. Yeah. <laughs> you always been like that. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. So yeah. what made you come today, man? Like what? What you know? What? What? What inspired Pull the mic a you? To, to you both. Yeah. What inspired you to come to, to to our platform today, man? Talk to us. Oh, oh, my how y'all um, came at me and spoke to me and I felt y'all the realness through the phone and. So I'm going to hang with these guys. I'm fucking up. You be like, ah, 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 ah. Say something, do something. I go, I go, I go. Ah, 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 ah. Say something, do something. Uh-huh. <laughs> so let me let me tell you guys how I came across this interview. Mm. Um, Bino, Bino hit me up and they sent me, um, Bino, oh, no. Gee, slow down, G. Bino hit me up and sent me an article. Um, shout out to my man, Bino. He hit me up and sent me an article from this YouTube called, I'm going to shout them out. Uh, it's, it's called King of the Streets Never Left the Streets Ed Booger Smith mm-hmm. It's called Stunted Growth I'm saying So I guess Stunted Growth Did an article on Booger mm-hmm. So Bino sent it to me He's like yo I know him I saw him in jail You know what I'm saying Street legend He's official You gotta interview him I think it'll be dope mm-hmm. Then I found him on Instagram But Booger He be live Booger be live in the car with his man <laughs> talking for hours. He be live for like four hours just talking. But don't do interviews. Nah, he be talking cracking jokes. Somebody he could, yo, he, he talking about he could uh, teach a whole blind team <laughs> to beat another team. I'm like, what the book are talking about? Yeah. For he real. Said that. For you know real. I'm saying? So Bino said, but I'm, I'm, ex- I'm definitely excited, man. Um, You know, I, I know you don't do interviews. Um, Even when we heard, you know, uh, you know, you stay to yourself, really, so... We gonna try to make it as comfortable as we can for you, yeah. All right, all right, you know thanks. Uh-huh. We gonna try, man. Uh-huh. G money. Yo, so what's your story, man? Let us let, let people know your story. You know, for for those who don't know the, the street legend, you know, bug. You know, take us back to, you know, uh, back to where you from. Yeah, I'm from Fort Green, Tonkins, and stuff. And I used to live in Brownsville or something when I was like ten, nine. I used to go to seventy three mm. and stuff. You know, I'm just regular Brownsville. Brooklyn, I be, I used to live. My mom used to be moving everywhere, but I'm really from Fort Green and Tonkin. Okay. My grandmother from Tonkin's and my mother from Fort Green. So yeah, I grew up over there. 
What was it like in Brooklyn growing up for you? Oh, it was good in Brooklyn. It was nice. Everything. I was playing basketball, baseball. Brooklyn, I love Brooklyn. That's why I would never leave. It changed now changed since now, a lot right? of they building a lot of stuff, moving people out. So it changed. It's it ain't like how it used to be. Before you can get me to leave Brooklyn. Now I won't mind going to move down south. This is because mm. it ain't a lot of shooting. It ain't how it used to be. Go to basketball games. People shooting at basketball games. Yeah. I was playing. They ain't have time to shoot. You shoot, you won't. You won't miss it. So you, we ain't shooting. We won't. We can't see it a lot. So it was more respectful. Than now it's wild. What kind of kid were you though? You you, you were a good kid. You a bad kid? Like I'm a good kid. Mm-hmm. You know, I just do what I gotta do to survive. Right. I be you know hustling, but not bad as like going to house people disrespecting people like that. Right, right. Nah, I ain't bad like that. I ain't so, that type. So growing up, was you and your mother, or your pops was around? with you? Nah, my pops, my pops in Coney Island. I just met him like a couple of years ago. Couple of years ago. Yeah, he was living in Coney Island, and I got four sisters and another brother from, from my father's side. But I got a brother from my mother. Me and my little brother grew up. I just met him, and he lived down that block. So he wasn't in my life. When did he leave? You, you, you know when he left for? He, I never seen him until. A couple years well, ago. Well, yeah. Wow. So he wasn't never around. It's like, I wouldn't even knew he was my, he could be walked past me, and I wouldn't even knew that was my pops. Wow. I wouldn't even knew it. How, but how did you, how did you meet him? I mean, how did you, how did you find out he was your father recently? He from Coney Island. My aunt. Her husband, they friends. And I was wondering, like, how Larry, you know him all this time and you ain't telling him to come see me? So y'all bugging. <laughs> <laughs> and all, so, so, so you, and I'm the oldest. Uh, I, all his kids. So you was you was you was introduced to him and how you how tell us about the introduction. What like I mean, what did it feel like meeting him for the first time? Like first when when he came I was in on in front of the building, he came in the building, him and his homeboy. I'm like, I think they feel like y'all I mean you want. He woke past me looking up, so he get upstairs to my aunt. My aunt said, your father up here. I said, I don't got no father. She said, no, for real, your father up here. And I go and I go upstairs, it's him, he just walked past me. So that's when I, she introduced me, this is your father. I said, that nigga my father. And so, but to this, he be giving me his number, he be sending a number telling me to call him, but call him, I don't be. You don't want to speak to him? Huh? I'll speak to him when I see him, but I don't be. Call it on. He be like, "Yo, come see me. Got it. Come see you." No. Is it is it because that? Did you feel like when you when you were growing up with your moms, right? So you grew up in Fort. Let's let's take this slow. You grew up in Fort Greene, and Tompkins, and, and Tompkins. Yeah. So when you were smaller, so it was just your mom and who you, your my mom, little brother, and your little brother. Yeah. Your father never came around. You ain't know no, no male figure in, in your life at that time. No. Nah. Mm. You didn't mm. ask your mom about. Your, your pops when you, when you got a little older, you, like with no. your daddy yet? No, no, you just you just knew moms. Mm-hmm. That was it. Mm-hmm. What type of woman was mom? Oh, great woman. I was I was gonna bring her. My car caught a flat and stuff. A word today? Uh-huh, yesterday, <laughs> I was caught oh, okay. a flat. I was on the highway. I couldn't stop, so I had to drive it all the way. And I got psh, the whole tire was off. Oh, so my shit. cousin had to bring me today. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, moms is cool. Mom, you, you go to my house, you, I ain't there. She let you spend the night. I don't know be it. Mom like that. You fight, she gonna fight. She gonna, she gonna help you. Mm. Mm. She cool. So, so all right, so you young. Your father wasn't around. What you doing? Like, you was in school? Did you go to the streets? Like, we want to know that process. Like, we have to take steps. Like, what's the process of, of how you was moving? I was in the, in the streets in school. I was in... I cut school in kindergarten, like first grade. My grandma caught me. So school, I wasn't, I was just going and leaving. I was just cutting school since I was little. I never liked the school. And only, while like I played high school basketball too, because they passed me. The the, the, the dean, the, on my poor car, I got all 65. I wasn't even going to climb. I was, climbing, I was going to this gym and lunch. That's it. And they were passing. So I never, I never graduated. From no grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, I never. It just, psh, psh, oh, we gotta get them out of here. You mean, never, never finished. So they just was pushing me. Psh, 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 psh. 
For sure. I'm trying. I'm trying to envision you cutting cutting kindergarten. And first grade. <laughs> yeah, like, why, how you cut yeah. kindergarten? Will you go in first grade? Is <laughs> you, <cut It's, laughs> you can't you can't go in this school because once you go in the school, they're gonna call like, oh, I seen him in school. Where he at? Mm. So boom, once the, I leave the my crib, I'm out. I'm going to the park, play basketball. That's why I used to be like in the Jew neighborhood where you know nobody going to see me in the neighborhood and say, yo, I just seen him in, in the park. So, yeah, I used to. Why you didn't like school, though, bro? Why you didn't like What What you didn't like about school? I, I, don't, I was too much ready about basketball. And, it, I was, and it's taking too long. It take eight hours just sitting in. I ain't had the patience. That's why I had to pay. So, what, at what age you started cutting, bro? So, kid, kid, kid got to first grade. Yeah, that's crazy. You can't cut at first grade. Yeah. So, wait, why I didn't call Mama Love? What was Mama Love? She was. That's what she was doing. My mom. She was in the chairs there, and we. It was like, she, she. You know, I was with my grandmother half time. Okay. And they really didn't have like the the, the numbers to the to my grandmother and, and stuff. We really and we didn't really have no phone like that anyway. So, and she was always like. She had stopped by sometime, but they wasn't on me like that. Like, like other parents, like let me. Psh, 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 psh. They wasn't on my back. It was like I was, I was doing whatever I wanted to do. Why do you I had to take care of myself, cause my brother, my mother had to take care of him, and she ain't have it like that. So I just had to run the streets psh, 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 and just take care of myself. Mm -hmm. I never thought. I never had it like I want to go to the NBA. I wasn't thinking about no NBA. I just love basketball. I just love the game. I ain't play basketball to trying to make it to the NBA to get make a dollar. I was playing it to stay like stay out of trouble. Baseball, like I was, if I wasn't doing that, I'd been probably killed or dead, son. So that was my thing. That's why it's baseball, basketball. I'm nice in baseball, football. Mm. Hustling. So I just just respect the streets and the streets won't respect you. You don't respect the streets. The streets won't you will lose your life on the streets. So you gotta respect the streets. People in the streets. Respect them, yo. Don't just that's it. You don't need no gun to be tough. Mm. No gun. A basketball made me nigga, I'm tough from just shaking this. I ain't got to go pick up a gun and rob him to do this for people to love me. I made them love me because of that basketball. I said, all right. What was your first introduction to basketball? Like, what, what do you recall first being, like, really young? Like, what what did you see that kind of intrigued you to playing basketball? Like, I used to baseball when I come outside early. I run the street. Y'all be asleep. So it wasn't enough to play baseball. So I go get the basketball till people wake up. We get enough. We play basketball, baseball, football. So, little at eight, I was like eight. Eight. Yo, boy, let me ask you a question. Keep it real. Like, your household at a young age, like, was 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 it a a bad household? Like, did you have a rough household? Like, meaning, like, when you say raise yourself, like, was was was, was moms outside? Was moms just focused on like? Let's talk about the relationship with you and moms. You know, I mean, probably it's different now because you're mm -hmm. older. I'm talking about when you was younger for you to be able to watch yourself. Because I heard that, you know, at 13, 14, you became homeless and stuff like that. Nah. So that was a lie, what yeah. they said. So you that, yeah, yeah. So you saw that video where they talked about that. Did you yeah. watch it? I be seeing a lot of stuff that people said, and, and I don't know where they be getting shit from. So you never was homeless? Nah. Nope. Okay. So what, what about, what about, like, Okay, so why did why did Mama Love allow you to just do your do your thing? Like, was she a young mother? Like, explain like that situation as far as your mom's concerned. Yeah, she was young, and she was she wanted she was running the streets too. Oh, I understand. Okay, See, the, the most thing I had tough with was my grandmother, and she can't be that tough too. Cause once she go to sleep, I'm out. So I was getting beaten and stuff. She was beating me. When I come back, when I, I take the beating, but I'm going outside. You don't punch me. As soon as you go, I'm going outside. I know I'm getting the beating. That's why I'm killing you in this basketball game. You know my grandma about to kill me for being outside? <laughs> then I stole a car at 12. I didn't even know how to drive. I was just, psh, boom, I, I went to go pick one of my homies up at night school. Took her car. 
I get to the gas station, my uncle behind me looking, and I'm looking at him. He like, that look like my mother car. I'm looking like, through the mirror, <clears throat> that look like, boom. I'm just, just, I didn't even know how to drive. He was chasing me. Yo, and I would drove the car like, I've been ever, like, I've been driving like forever. That's how I was like, it's like I've been, it's like, I'll I, I be eight, but I'll be I'm like 12. I was. You had to grow fast. Yeah. I was quick. Like, me, like people my age, we the same age, but I'm, I'm thinking 10 steps ahead of them. Mm. I'm thinking 10 ahead of them. Like, when I was coming out, I don't really play with people my age, basketball, always playing with grown people. So mm. when I play against them, I'm killing y'all. I'm killing them. Then I was the Riverside. Then half of these people was gay and stuff, want to play with paddles and stuff. So I had to go to the Bronco. This, that's why I was disrespecting niggas. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas selling y'all soul mm. for a little money. Like, they play for bad boys. Bad boys give a little 50, a buck 50. Like, our Brooklyn team, we both went uptown. On, all the Brooklyn guys is over, is over here. Just for, mm. and they up here popping junk like they the nicest, and y'all on they side. So I was like, Stop. They, I was that's how I looked at like. So when did everything get started for you as far as like when did you know like you were nice and, and ball like I know you say earlier you was playing in the park all the time cutting school you playing like when did you start to realize how nice you were when did you start to start realizing your your talent for real. Like, when I was 12, I always thought I was nice, but I never, like, been cocky about it. Because mm -hmm. I, I put much, just, I put work in. I put work in. Nobody taught me. I, 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 I put work in the basketball. I sleep with the basketball. I hug it. I be talking to the basketball. After the game, good game. Man. I love it. <laughs> I sleep with that shit. <laughs> That's just what I do. Nobody taught you how to play? No. Nope. So who did you watch to learn how to play? TV? And just people outside like Lenar and them people older guys than me living around the way, Booby and them. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And TV, I wasn't one with basketball. We wasn't, because on TV, when I was coming out, I'm like, yo, the NBA. I ain't never think I, a person from the streets could make the NBA because you really ain't know nobody in NBA from my neighborhood. Mm. So I was like, that's fake. You got to be picked. I ain't think... So people start making it, then I'm seeing people in the hood. But I never like thought about going and playing the NBA. But real quick, I'm sorry, G. You know, the, you know there was a Slam article about you, right? Do you know about these articles? Slam, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, in, in the notes here, you know, and I know that you know we we we're gonna move on and stuff like that. But you know, some of the things that they said as far as your childhood is that you know, like. You know, you rarely attended school. You didn't like school, really. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, 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 they said you had a turbulent relationship with your mother. Mm -hmm. um, they said sometimes in the nighttime you'll sleep on park benches that uh, benches that line uh, the project hallways. Um, did you sleep outside sometimes and shit? Yeah. We, like, you break days nice outside. We got liquor, we breaking <laughs> shit like that. We old, niggas, we going to break in day. We got, like that. But now nah, I wasn't never homeless and it's not. Nah. Because my mom's always had a crib. My grandma had a crib. My grandma's still living in the same spot now. Really? And talking, 760, still living in the same building, same floor, mm. everything. I always had a crib. So if you stayed outside, it's because of choice, basically. Yeah, this is break in day and we going upstairs. Nice outside. We playing basketball, we drinking, but like 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 that. But homeless? No. No, nah, I'd be good. I'd rather a uh, house before I be homeless. I can nah. I I've got bone and shorty let me in. Shorty, I ain't gonna be homeless. Fuck, I'm shaking these niggas like this. Somebody gonna let me in. Fuck. <laughs> 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 nah. no. Well, people, I be people be saying stuff, and I will be sometimes they be just making homeless. My mom's is cool. My mom's when my aunt, I could go to my aunt's house. I, I have places to go. It's just 
Like, with, um, with, um, when I moved in with Kenny, the coach, Solano, mm-hmm. I did that choice on my own. Because I wanted to, like, have somebody put, like, pressure on me. Like, yo, you got to do this thing. Mm-hmm. Yo, you ain't, you got to, yo, be on my back when I'm in, in, for school and stuff. But he wasn't on the back like that. So it was like. You said you started hustling at nine. It was like I was. How you got put on? on. Took it to that project. You remember that day? Uh huh. How I got put on? Yeah. Save my money. To hustle. I mean, how you got, who put you on? Nobody. The only thing you had to do was just save my money and we went uptown. Uptown, they were selling in, to anybody. Amsterdam, 145th, they were selling it. That's it, and just save it. Because. I'm not hustling for nobody, and I gotta. God forbid if I mess up, lose this money, spending this son. Now I owe you. No, and I know all the fiends. I live in the neighborhood. I know every crackhead. So me and my little man Shaji went uptown. We just went from there. Never been a worker. I ain't had to fight for a strip or nothing. I live here. Nigga ain't gonna tell me I can't hustle. I live here. You bugging. What you doing? What I'm doing? I'm doing the same thing you trying to do. I live here. I ain't no stranger. It was like that. I know you I know you hustled for at a young age. Cause you said they said you had a lot of memorable quotes saying that, you know, if you don't make it an NBA, you'll be a drug dealer. Yeah. Was hustling it was hustling why why did hustling consume you so much? That was the only way I I could get money from on my my own money instead of like I, I got to call you and you just feed me I got to keep calling you so I got to have I have to have a way so I can have income coming in so and that was a way do you regret hustling? no you don't regret hustling? no I ain't hurt nobody I ain't no if I didn't well, nobody else was going to feed me people was feeding you because I, cause my skills, but they was, they feed you into, they run out and won't make you. They want to, you call them back after that. They just want to give you enough just to, so you'll need them. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's how it is. But that's, that's how people, people be. Nah, but book, you gotta keep it, book, you gotta keep it real, book. Let's, let's keep it real, book. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm jacking you. I'm, I'm rocking with you. Your story is monumental. Cause you know I usually don't like to jump the gun, and I feel like that's what I'm doing. But you know, um, you know, you're hustling at a young age, but you're playing basketball. You never disrespected basketball, mm-hmm. and you said to yourself that you basically raised yourself. You mm-hmm. know, you raised yourself. So the streets was your influence, yeah. right? Did you have any teams that you was a part of? Did you have any crews that you was a part of? You know what I mean? Any crews? Oh yeah, I was part of on um, BGF. They a lot of people believe BGF and stuff, but. That nah, and the crew is like the people I grew up with. The crew I grew up with. You try to sound friends. cool. You try to sound cool, bro. Come on, bro. Don't do it that, bro. You gotta keep it real, bro. Nah, we, the crew. Yeah, gotta, gotta keep it real, yeah. bro. We got you over here. Keep it up, bro. We know a lot, bro. Right. You keep it a hundred up here, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, the crew. You try to be cool. Come on, bro. Nah, it's me. Yeah, but again, nah, nah. It's just we grew up, so we ain't have to be no game. We don't, have to, we don't gotta be bloods. Nah, we none of my friends is bloods, Crips. Young ones, my cousins is rocking them, but people rock up. We ain't have to be bloods and Crips. But don't play with us. That's it, don't play with us. And we ain't have to be bloods and Crips like in the game. But we wasn't even gonna play with us. All we all gonna do is get money, and that's it. We ain't robbing you. Never did that. Rob person never not. Never did that. Cause it's it's you rob a person, you forget. <laughs> Where you get the psh from? <laughs> you know, nah, like, like, like you doing that? <laughs> so, so so hold on, G. That's the pass. That's the pass. We pass the ball. You know what I'm um, hold on real quick. Give me how long were you hustling for? Keep it a hundred. I just. I just stopped since I work work in construction because oh it's the cameras. God. It was cameras, phone and the thing. 
And then that shit, that shit crack went up. That shit, so I was like, boom, I got to get a job. So I just stopped. I've been working for now construction for, what, three years? Mm -hmm. So I just stopped. And money, and it wasn't like the neighborhood, it wasn't flowing like that. And I'm not going out of town, because you go out of town, and I'm eating out of town. You get mad. So I'm not going out of town and get murked out of town for nothing. So I said, yeah, let me get a job. Mm. So Is that's your first when job? I stopped. Yep. Wow. I've been hustling all my life. Wow. You never did drugs. Did you do drugs, bro? We... Hennessy, cigarettes, and that's it. That's it. That's it. G G. I'm gonna say weed, Hennessy, the brown water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's it. Yo, so take us. All right, let's. You know, I want to get to the Slam magazine and all that. I want to get to all that. You know, the 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 soul in the hole. But I want I want I want to hear more of the process of how you get the the the. The street legend credit. You know what I'm saying? I know you said you were playing ball all the time. You playing. You was. You know. You was. But I want to hear more stories about how you gained your name, you know, got your weight up. So, like, you were playing in tournaments, you were playing with certain teams, you know, uh, like, give us that rundown. Yeah, I was playing in, in every tournament. I was playing in every every tournament on mad teams. Like, if you got a, a team and you go, boy, I want you to play at this game tomorrow. Queens, where I'm coming to play. Mm -hmm. If I don't got no game, I'm coming to play. So, I was playing everywhere. Mm-hmm. Queens, I was playing everywhere. So, so you didn't play for like no one team. You, you just if they call you, you just show up. You go. Crazy. My main team was Kenny, in Solon Old Kenny Kings. Right. That's my main team. Okay. So if if we don't got no um, tournament, no, we ain't in the tournament. I play on anybody else's team. Like you want me to play, but if if, if my team is in the tournament, I can, I'm playing. Can play. right, yeah, right. I got you. Like we went with the Rutgers with Kenny King. That's the team I play for. Mm. I went. If he in Rucker, I'm playing on that team. He got, I said that's my team, Kenny Kings. Me charging. What was your breakout game though? Like, what was that game that you that you kind of went crazy and everybody kind of know you for when the, the first good things kind of started? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was your breakout game? All, of, all of them. What was the first one though? You you know the first one that, that you were home and you was like, yeah, that was crazy. All of them. Every 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 game. Every game you played was crazy. Yeah. Every game, a hundred percent. I'm paying a hundred in, not slacking. No, every game. Who'd you play against that we, we might know about, like as, as a, in the in the in the NBA now, or like you know, uh, that's just pretty popular basketball players. Mel Tinsley. He grew up around me. I showed him how to play too. Lamar Odom. It's like Steph. Um, everybody uptown, future, everybody. Mm. I was playing against everybody. Every uh, everybody, skit. Shot the skit. Yep, I was playing with everybody. I was, but everybody wasn't coming. They was coming to Brooklyn though. Mm. The first day was coming is to West Fourth Street, but they wasn't coming to Brooklyn. Headed came to Brooklyn one time, the Tillery, mm -hmm. and after what I did to him, he didn't come back. <laughs> they don't come. What about Skip? You, you think Skip is nice? Skip, Skip would be yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah, he ain't better than you. Or? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Not like right now. No, mm. no, he good. He good. He not, yeah, he's not better than you. He's not better than the books though. No, nah. not even close. No. Nah. Mm. Then they people be saying like, "Oh, you a street ball player? He can't switch to the basketball. Basketball. Mm. Is that?" It's not like anyone. I don't want to play. I didn't want to play with anyone. Like How to go, Childers? They wanted me to play. I didn't want to play because that's cop, that's like acting. Mm. My shit is real. That's a check, though. You know that, right? I know, but I didn't want it. I, that's I went to the CBA. Okay. I went to the CBA. I know that was check, but I didn't want. I didn't want to play basketball. I wanted to. I didn't want because. And I don't know how to do them, that shit they do. My shit is nasty. <laughs> My shit is off instincts. Right? Yeah. I don't know how to do that shit they be doing. Spinning. I don't know how to spin the ball on my finger. Because you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't spinning the ball on your finger in the game. So I'm not practicing something. 
you can't do in the game. Right. Rolling the ball or I don't get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nah. They know. said that you used to have when you was playing basketball, you used to have fiends lined up on the court. That's true. Yeah. Tell us about that. Like, and then that's what really made me slow down basketball too, because I used to go to the games, come back, fiends was waiting and shit. So, well, with so much money come, I said, so I just saw that. Then they just started coming to the game too, get their shit and stay and watch the game. It was coming to the game and stay and watch it. Then. The D's, artillery, two big, at right that, looking up. These the D's. I thought they was just watching the game, so I'm sitting down out the. Ch- Looked up, he said, "Booger, we ain't gonna rush you in front of all your people because they gonna go crazy, but you gotta come with us." I said, "No." I said, "Yo, they want me to go with them." We're well, the two big D's. At the game, son. Fiend brung him. Fiend brung him. Bounced on him. That's when I made front cover Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated was there. Why did, why, why did the Fiends bring them? Why did they want you? For drugs? For selling drugs? Or something else? Huh? No. The Fiends didn't even know they was with them. Like following them. The Fiends didn't know they was coming. They just brung them. The, the, they just was boom, coming, saying, where the fiends, where these, where these fiends going? So, well, what I'm saying is that why did they, why did they want to, like, why did they, um, why did the police want you? For hustling or for something else? Why, why did for the hustling. Bees, for hustling. City, they locked 62 of us up. They, they was watching us for three years. What, what's the name? I did five years. That's how I met him up north. Bino. Yeah, yeah, but hold on. What was the name of the crew, though? It ain't no name in the crew. We had they got they was locking people up. We had beef with. We was shooting at people. They was co-defending. Really? Yeah. My uncle Larry, Larry, they locked them up too. They locked six. They were snatching. Dude. And only the Fed snatched. And only why we beat it, cause man, they snatched a man when he was when he was locked up. They snatched him by mistake. So when he went to trial, we all beat it, cause that's our co-defendant. So now the state, they dropped the shit down to the state to pick it up now. Now they locking us up for how many cells you sold to the undercover. But yeah, man, they took this snatch man. He beat it. He went to trial. He beat it. So we all beat it. Once he beat it, because he got cold defender. It was 62 of us that they locked up. If you were so nice in basketball, do you think that the fact that you didn't have a... Because you said, who you went to go live with? What's the guy named you went to live with again? Kenny. Kenny, how did, because the school was passing you, they were pushing you forward. What made Kenny approach you? He watched you in school? Like, how did Kenny No, oh, he's from Tonkins. I grew up. Okay. He always was coaching. That's why I played with the big guys. I said, when I first played with Kenny, I had to tie my shirt like this. I had to tie my shirt like this. That's how little I was, playing unlimited. And Kenny, and Kenny told you, come live with him? No. I went. This was later on, like in high school, because I wanted to, like, have somebody on my back to pick me and yo, do this, go ahead, stop. I ain't have no, nobody on my back to make me want to go to school, make me want to do good. Because you ain't like school. Yeah, but if I did, because I, if I had somebody, I right, come on, then, then I, I hold me down, I couldn't do school, I had to get money, I had to take care of it. So, I was, you know, that's how I was, I did take care of myself. So that's how I wasn't going to school. I went to Arizona, I didn't have no GD, nothing. They took me to Arizona Western. Then I said, then I, I brought my man with me. I, I told Coach, I ain't coming home with me. If I bring somebody, they let me bring somebody. He got a free scholarship too. <laughs> Only, I got, I, if I'd have stayed there for the summer, it had been different. I came home, and it's time to go back. I got locked up. If I had stayed for the summer, well, I mean, so basketball. I mean, but but then, the hard question is: that, Did basketball really mean that much to you, though? Yes. But how 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 was the streets calling? Like survival was was more important then, because you had to survive. You had to hustle to survive. You're saying. 
Mm -hmm. So you hustled to survive or just, you didn't hustle just to hustle. No, to survive. To survive. So, and when you went, to, when you went to go live with Kenny, did you, did you, uh, think that it would be different? Did you want that type of figure yeah. to, to, to put, but it wasn't different? No. Why not? It was like, the only they wanted me for his basketball. It was like, ah, they didn't give a fuck about me. Don't go to school. They didn't care about, just come to, come to this game. Come to the game. Come to the game. Come to the game. Even though I loved I wanted to come anyway, but I'm like, yo, if I, don't, if I wasn't this like this, they wouldn't give a fuck about me. And once the shit stopped, the love stopped. When I stop playing ball, niggas don't like niggas don't fuck with me like that. Yo, how you doing? You niggas don't care no more. Mm. Niggas just use you until they can't use you no more. Mm. But do you do you feel like you might have been the cause of that? Do you feel that at all? Do you take any accountability? Meaning that, like your flip, you know, or, or y'all, I, I didn't, I didn't live up to my potential. Because they said that you were doing interviews, you know, and, and, and you know, G can go into the whole slam joint. But you were stating some things that you wanted to be a drug. If you if you if you didn't make an NBA, you was gonna be a drug dealer. Like you put no. drug dealing at, at at the top. You put drug dealing and basketball at the top. It's like you That's, love the streets. Yeah, cause. It, you ask me what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lie say I'm going to be a doctor. Oh, no. I That's that's what I, that's what I knew. That's why if they don't work in basketball, I'm, I'm hustling. It was, it was basketball and hustling. That's what I knew. It's not, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to say, yeah, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a lawyer. And no damn way I ain't going to be no doctor, no lawyer. Mm -hmm. But you, 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 you know, you from Brooklyn. You you hustling your whole life. You didn't, at, you know, at any point use the hustling mentality for basketball. Like you, you could have hustled a lot of people to you know pay you for this, pay you for that, and you could have ate off of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Instead of instead of hustling still. Yeah, people, they wasn't paying. They ain't, they wasn't paying nothing. It's I ain't going. Yo, you gotta pay me to play. I ain't like that. I'm yeah. gonna play. If you want to give me money, you give me money. But I ain't gonna. And they. You just wanted to play. Yeah. They ain't, and I was, come on, I wasn't, nah, they wasn't like, yo, huh, let me hold you shorty, uh, let me hold them down, let me hold them down. Nah. And they wasn't, they, they, even though they was giving niggas cheap one, it was about 50, 200, out of here. Mm -hmm. That's it. Did they, huh, folks, put down your pocket, now you hold that, boom, good looking. But I ain't going to. Yo, you gotta pay me. Yo, kick out. You gotta pay me. I love to play basketball. Bring us to the process how they how they passed you to go to uh to the to the college or the, not the college. You went to Arizona, right? Western, yeah. Western is that a college? Yeah, JC and um Phoenix. So bring us to the process. You went to so you, what high school you went to? Western House. Went to Western House High School. Mm -hmm. And was that in Arizona? No, Western House High School is down block Fort Green, right down Brooklyn. Town. Yeah. Okay, Western House. Mm. So, so you but you hardly went to school. I hardly went. You didn't go at all. Only thing was had me going to school that he picked me. On, he let me play on the basketball team. He was he passed my grades. All your grades. I, I got sixty five. Yep. How, how does that arrangement work? He was the dean. He was doing that. I went when he gave me the. When I got my report card, I went to the teacher and said, yo, thanks for passing me. She said, pass you, nigga. You came to my class one time. I gave you a red in 55. Then he came later on to practice. He said, yo, stop showing people your report card. I said, oh. He said, fuck, you think you was going to you passing? When the last time he was in the class? I said, was past me. To play basketball. Mr. Hurst, he passed away, too. So Mr. Hurst passed you. Oh, I went and never played high school basketball. I went and never played. And I wasn't going to class. You had to pass the classes to go. So walk us through the process. So Mr. Hirsch passed you, and then who came looking for you to go to uh, to go to Arizona? How did that, like, walk us, tell us the story, the process. I went to Arizona. The coach went there. The coach was new, my own coach. 
Coach Backcott, he a scout for Milwaukee Bucks now. And his other brother, I think the the coach, the owner of the Atlanta Hawks. So they sent him on. He came to New York to see me play. People was telling him. So he came to New York to see me play. And when he came to see me play, it was it. He said, y'all seen mad people play. I never seen nobody like you. He said, y'all coach D1, all that. Then he got a, got a shooter, Denmark Reed, from um, Portland, Oregon. Then he started my little cousin. <sighs> you pass him the ball 10 times, he make it nine. And three. I was like, this nigga shoot like crazy. He, everybody was new. Coach was new. The players was new. Everybody was new. So? So he came to watch you play, and then? And he took me. Then I asked him, I said, yo, I got my man, Bezo. He played on my team, so no. I said, yo, he could come with me? He said, yeah, bring anybody you want. He graduated? I said, yeah, he played basketball. Psh, he got a free scholarship, too. Sent out plane tickets and everything. Mm. It was over there. In Yuma. Palm trees and shit. Tracing rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you went to Arizona. What, what happens next now? Then I went to Arizona. I came home for the mm. summer. I got knocked up. Got locked up, yeah. For what? For drugs and a gun. Coming from where I was coming from, the club, Envy. And this stupid, dumb dog nigga. I had two 40s. Um, they be jamming at the same time. So I went to take it to my man and fix them. This dumb nigga. I said, yo, so we're going to leave the guns there. He supposed to left his gun. He got a 357 on him. So, boom, shorty let me hold her car. She got to have she gotta have a car back in the morning. She got to go to work. Mm -hmm. But she let him drive because he had license. I didn't have license at the time. So, boom, we get in the club. Later on, he gave me the keys. So, when the party over, I couldn't find him. So, I went to the car. Bent, dreads. I said, I got to make it home. I got to give her a car. I crashed, bummed. So I said, yo, I'm gonna report the car stolen. Jet it. You know, five old come around the corner, lady in the building see me, and lock me up. So I get in the precinct. Nigga like, yo, you got caught with a gun. I ain't caught with no gun. I ain't have no gun. You got a big 357 under your seat. I said, you better check that for fingerprints. That ain't mine. This nigga like, let it see. It's not fucked up. I couldn't tell him. Can't be a rat. I had to eat that. That wasn't my hammer. Mm. I had to eat that shit. Or a mother. How old were you at this time? What? It's 18. 17, yo. I had to eat that shit. And this nigga ain't send me nothing. He ain't come see me in nothing. So so didn't you post bail though? But yeah, but I had to go up north for that. But I thought you I thought you 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 you, you post bail and you and you I came home. Into the so I finished the case, they made me go up north. I had to cop out five, it would be five years. I thought that you was on a run for a while. That was, yeah, they didn't catch me for two years. I was on a run for two years in the project, still hustling and shit. They just was, psh, but when they bagged me, it was. Psh. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> them niggas were chasing me now. They, nigga go to the priest and they say, yo, boy, them niggas say they're gonna shoot you in your leg. You keep running. What? Because. This way I know I'm not niggas like yo go all right. I go hot out. I don't got no hot out money in any fucking way. They gonna catch me. I know when they coming. Excuse me. I know when they coming. So no. I'm staying right here. Them niggas chasing me down for two years in the project. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Chill. 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 So wait, you ain't get caught? I thought you got caught. I With them. With the no, with Larry. So hold on, wait, hold on. You crashed a vehicle. Did you get caught when you crashed a vehicle? With, you said the lady saw you go around the corner. Yeah, I got because I'm trying to go back in in in, in the club now, and and I could have got away. That's how been I was. The lady, the girls was like, "Yo, boys, we was calling you." They said, "Yo, you went over there here behind the garbage can like they can't see you." <laughs> yo, what? They said, "Yo, you was hiding like." They, they said, "Yo, that's how drunk you was." They said, "Yo, you was hiding." Like they can't see you. You right there. I said, y'all was that bent. They said, yo, you was that bent. So, so okay. So then, when you get so when did you jump bail? As I'm saying, like you you you, go, you get locked up for that. Then you 
Who bailed you out? I bailed myself out. Oh, you had money? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And then tell us. Okay. You bailed out with the gun. Then now I got a gun charge. Now I found, now they're looking for me for spiracy now. Spiracy of what? For, the, for um, selling coke. Crack and shit. There's 62 niggas. My 62 co defendant. Mm-hmm. Bomb. When I got bailed for the gun, that's when they started looking for me. So wait, hold on. What, what, what was the was the case in the newspaper as far as sixty two people got locked up? Was yeah. That, what was it called? Suspiracy. Um, what they like? We was getting millions of dollars in the projects. Wait, hold on, hold on. How many how many members got locked up at all? Sixty two. Sixty two got locked up at Fort Greene. Yeah. What year? This was a, I think oh four. I think something like that. Give me a second. Maybe oh four, right? Oh three, something like that. A drug. You charged me with possession of weapon, conspiracy, and jumping yeah. bail. I went to jail in early two thousand four. Got out September twelve, two thousand eight. Yeah, but 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 I want to see. Was there an article? Yeah, it ain't a newspaper. Yeah, sixty two of us. Then they had. People who always beefing with each other. Niggas ain't even like niggas shooting at each other. It's easy that to make a case six sixty two. Nigga, we don't niggas don't even like each other. How y'all saying we co defendants? We getting money together. That's hard to beat, that's privacy. That's hard. Hmm. We got sixty two co defendants. Sixty two niggas. I got caught last. When I got caught, they was coming home because men, they laid up for two years when men took it to trial and beat it. Mm. That's when the feds dropped the case. Because niggas was in a Marriott for like for four days. Because when you get, they take you to the Marriott, they ain't taking you to no precinct. Hmm. Four days. Hmm. It was four, yeah. And you, and, you, and you was the last one to be caught. Mm-hmm. My lawyer name was like, yo, I never seen in so many people locked up. They saying, y'all, y'all ain't catch Booker yet? Y'all ain't catch Booker yet? They said, yo, how they worried about, yo? They said, y'all ain't catch him? Nah, they ain't catch him for two years. So why they said you went to Chicago? You went to Chicago to hide? Yeah. Tell, tell, tell went, them, yeah, walk us through that, bull. Come on, man. I went to Chicago because, boom, a kid named Steve Jackson called Tonkins the center and said he had a trial for me. He said, yo, he could give me a trial for the Bulls. Right. So, boom, I said, all right, I'm on a run. Cops looking for me. All right, send me a plane ticket and stuff. Boom, he sent it. Get down there. That's when you play against Jordan? Yeah. Get down there. He ain't, he ain't no nobody. Because I'm like, yo, every spot we go to, why you keep asking me? Ain't the telling yo, this is Ed Booker Smith. This is such and such. I said, yo, to my mom, why you keep doing that? You supposed mm-hmm. to be known already out here. But every time he say that, I'm like, yo, he getting in spots that's saying this. Mm-hmm. But he supposed to already supposed to be he came because Michael Jordan had a gym, it's private to get right. in. You practice with him. He ain't let's let anybody walk in and practice. We got in there, we was getting mad. I said, this man is using, he ain't no nothing. <laughs> his girl was trying, his girl was trying to be a model. That's what he was trying to use me as, to uh, get in places for her too. He used her clout. Yeah. Mm. I said, this nigga don't know nobody. I'm in Chicago, nigga wants to take my hat off, my hat off, because you know you got you to have your, your hat straight. That means you neutral. Uh, I did, you see how my hat be leaning sometimes to this side? Mm. They thought I was a gang. Nigga ran up on me in the store in Cogrino Greens. They just knocked that building out. That building was still up there when I was up there. But they Hold had on, the candy man. You, you know we can't we can't skip past the Jordan story. I, I, I want to hear about that, man. Like, uh, oh yeah, talk we, about that real quick. Yeah, I was on in there practicing, playing with him and stuff. But Jordan hand is like this, mm. and he's small. Cause I threw a pass and bung, I caught that shit. I was like, this nigga Jordan. I said, oh, this man really got deep. 
I threw it. Because nobody, nobody knew it was coming to the... It's not, I threw a pen. Niggas don't... Come on, you don't... You know, I, psh, I didn't even like that, psh, young fella. I said, oh, all right, what up? <laughs> and they go, yo. Because the past... I don't... Yo. You so know. he knew who you were, Jordan? No. Okay. Mm. Nah. After that, he knew. How did you play? You killed him? He, he, yeah, we, yeah. yeah. They, they beat us though. <laughs> so you ain't kill him. You lost. Yeah, we lost. He bust. He, he whooped you. Mm -hmm. He was busting our ass. <laughs> he was busting our ass. <laughs> yeah, Cause they were they were scared of him. It was letting him do anything. <laughs> Who'd you be anything? Like just they ain't even playing no no. They ain't even playing him like that. Just letting them house y'all. They always even playing them like making them work for this. Did he scare you? Nah, no. They ain't making, they ain't making them work for his. Mm. They ain't making them, but he got a good defense. You see what Iverson did to him? When he got, they got mad at him. Yeah. Mm. Crossover. Yeah. <laughs> for real. <laughs> and they love Michael Jordan. That's the only thing I'm, ain't, I'm just upset. Not really upset, but the world ain't see what it. What I have for them. That's only why. If, I, if I'd have made it, I wanted to, like, let them see. Because they, they ain't seen the best. They saying Michael Jordan the best. He's good, but, nah, I had some shit, son. Mm. I swear to God. I was, they saying, yo, this, this, this. I went never been disrespectful to the league. I'd have went, I wouldn't been doing this, I, I'd have stopped doing all that drug dealing shit now, all right? And I got a, a decent job to pay my bills and shit so I could do one. I won't be riding around getting caught doing, come on, nah. But you didn't see that in college uh, during that time. You didn't see the vision for the NBA you still at that time, right? Nah. I If I'd have stayed, I, and he told me, uh, this, yo, this, don't go home. He, did, he said, I'd have been in there. He said, yo, if you didn't stay, you'd have been in He a scout for the Milwaukee Bucks now. Right. My head coach, who coached me in Arizona. Mm. And he loved me. But I just wasn't a listener. I, I ain't listening to nobody. But, boy, after you played in Chicago with the Jordan thing, you went back home? How long did you get back home? Like, until I found out he was a fraud, Cause boom, I went to the um, ball, baller camp. It's around the corner, so I was gonna just walk in. That's when we Bashy just left. Stephon brother just left high school, college, and went. So boom, I was gonna walk in there, but they didn't let me. They said you needed an invite, and they said that's only for people just coming out of college, straight out of college. So boom, but anyway, I seen Steph. In Chicago, I and mean, he was with him, you know. And nigga, I said, "Yo, Steph, what up?" You know that nigga waved and kept it moving. I said, mm. "I'm in Chicago." <laughs> he even come and say, "Yo, what you doing in Chicago?" Now in Brooklyn, I'm yo, Steph, what up? That all right? You, but in Chicago, you from Brooklyn? I'm from Brooklyn, and you see me in Chicago, you just. But then, I realized I said, "Yo, he going in there." And he see me out here, so he see me next to a camp. Oh, he trying to get in. All he had to do was just, psh, psh. and he had status like that because he jumped out the limousine. Psh, psh. Yo, let him in. So why you think he ain't, he ain't pull you in? Was his brother was, okay. his brother was going in there, and I would have outshined him. Hmm. But I thought I was like, nah, this nigga waved at me like this. I'm in Chicago. I said no. These Brooklyn niggas is crazy. I said, nah. Son. I was in Chicago. Mm. That nigga waved at me and kept it moving. So they left you outside? You didn't get in? No. They wouldn't let me in. For real. And when they didn't let you in, what happened next? Then there was another camp where Michael Jordan was playing at. Boom, went down there. Now, this the, is this the camp like for overseas. Overseas coaches is coming in now. This is not like straight out of college now. You know? mm -hmm. Boom. So we went there, ball. And so that's when I met Michael Jordan trainer too. 
Steve Gunner. What's his name, Steve? Damn, what's his name? He was talking about me too. I forgot Michael Jordan training name. So it was camp there. So he talked. They said, yo, he have his feet. Tell him bring his money tomorrow. We're going to give him a shirt to try out. They go in the camp. I went, the next day I went to bring the money. They said, nah, we can't do it. I said, what? That's when I said, that's when I was like, I ain't fuck with this basketball. It was like, then I went to the CBA. They released me for Derek Felt. Went to North Carolina. That nigga knee was bummy and everything. I saw. What's CBA? Like the CBA, that's like the D League. That's like the D League before the D League was popping. CBA was paying money. That's when um, Lamar Odom, they was wanting him to go there too. But he that's when he went to college. Rhode Island, they wanted him too. They wanted to give him a what? I think a hundred something thousand. But yeah. But why they release you though? For Derek Phelps. But why? What did you Cause do? Because he just came from the seven sixes. He, he just fucked his knee up. So he just came from the seven sixes, playing on the seven sixes. So boom, he came down. So got it. since he just came from there, the NBA. Boom, they got boom. So when they let you go, what did that do to you mentally? Like, that shit fucked me up. I was busting it, I was killing her. I'm like, yo, this, what the fuck they doing? I said, I'd be tight. I'm like, I said, I'd be tight. Said, I'd be tight. I said, I'd be tight. We went back to the streets. Had to be something, though. I think, you know, if if, if you if you one of the top players on the team, they, they let you go for somebody else. You sure yeah. was there anything else that, that was going on? Like, did they know about your, your, your street history and your past and stuff like that? That could have affected you? Yeah. You but then, team? but when I went, the coach... Like, they call me. I tell them, yo, listen, you know I've been smoking weed. and Because you got to get it tested anyway. So there's no sense to go down there and I'm dirty. Right. I tell them, they, they ain't care. He ain't care. The coach first, thing, he ain't care. But he got mad because the owner, and you know you get the thing. At the game, they give you the, with the skip of pictures with the team and everything. Mm. Coach get mad. My picture bigger than his. He said, you think you deserve that? I said, what? And he black. I said, what is it? That ain't nothing. That's a certain fly you give it. He got mad at my picture. Got... Next day, he called me to the yeah, drug test. You got to do. I said, what? I said, I don't even call the coach. The coach already knew him. Because I told him before I flew down here. Right. Nigga, drug test. Where I fell and they sent me on. Well, that, said, that, that's why then. I, but he knew this. Right. When he, when he, he, he knew this. I told him this. I went and went. I know I'm dirty and I know I got to, because when you go on these teams, you got to get a drug test. I got weed in my system. So I went and went. And he know that. But he got mad when they started showing me more love than than him. The owners, the fans and stuff. Mm -hmm. He going to say, yo, you think you deserve this? How you, you coaching, you saying, ask me that. Hmm. So it was, it was like, they wouldn't let me in. Now. They wouldn't. They wouldn't let me in. So. What year was this? That on the CB, the whole thing. It was what? Nineties. Was it before Soul and Soul, Soul, Soul mm. the Hole, or, or after? It was after. Soul the Hole came out in '97. You skipped the whole, because why? But why are these people describe? You know, why are these people describing you as, you know, like, uh, as a guy that had potential but chose the streets? Why did they, that means they know? That means you were publicly doing that. That means not publicly. That means you were showing the people that the streets meant more to you than basketball, because that's what that's what everybody's saying. How did they know that you picked that? Because you didn't differentiate the two. You didn't separate the two. That means you brought the streets to basketball. That means you, you know, did you, what did you, did you not take it serious, Booker? Come on, man. No, nah, no. Nah. I took well, basketball. Bro, come on, it's me, bro. Don't do nah. me. Nah, basketball. 
Bug. I took serious. Nah. Bug. Nah. Hey, Bug is your boy, Bug. Nah. Basketball, I took serious. So how would these people know that you prefer the streets, Bug? How they say all the articles say that about you? And all them articles don't even talk to me. Only I did an article with Slim when I came home and supposed to illustrate it. But these other people saying they don't I ain't even never speak to these other people. But Bugs, if you got if you told Slam, you told Slam you wanted to be in the streets, right? I told Slam I wanted to be in the streets. I'm asking you, did you? No, not like like no, not like like that. Like I wanna be like I got an option to go through this. I wanna be in I chose the streets. No. The streets I ain't have no option like to help me to be who I am. They ain't saying they wasn't helping. They it wasn't it wasn't helping. I had to be in the streets. Not like I had a chance. Like, oh, I had a chance to do this to make it happen. I didn't. Well, come on, man. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't have a chance, or, or you threw away your chance. No, I didn't. I didn't. They didn't give me the opportunity. Only opportunity I, I had to do this myself, playing the street ball. They didn't give me no opportunity. Like, you got a chance. This no, they didn't, they didn't give it to me. I ain't have it. You can't. You can't say they didn't give you opportunity. In high school, they 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 passed you. They passed you. It made you graduate high school. That's that's a big opportunity. I it? never graduated from high school. Okay, but well, I they, I went to college when I was in high school. I got caught playing dice, mm. and then I never played twelfth grade. The principal caught me playing dice like yo, you ain't playing next year. So that's when I went to Arizona. I left out the eleventh grade to go to the Arizona. Okay, and so I never graduated. I never. I didn't get a GD or nothing. So I went to Arizona because I couldn't play my twelfth year. And because he caught me playing dice in the hallway. Right. So the principal told me I can't play next year. So I left high school early in 11th grade. Mm. That's when I went to Arizona. But I just feel like, you know, I, I feel like you had a bunch of opportunities. You probably didn't re realize it back then, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But I think you had a bunch of chances. I think you kind of, like you said, cho chose the streets. You know what I'm saying? I think that the, the high school opportunity, the, the college opportunity, you, you know, you played ball with MJ. I think... Nobody I know personally can say they play ball against MJ. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's in a real game or a pickup game, you played against MJ, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was on a run already. So if I'd have made it, I'd have went to jail. Because they, the cops told me, like, yo, we don't care. You make it to the NBA. Whatever you make it, we coming, we to, coming get to get you. you. Yeah. So I don't, I was, I don't went to jail. So I really went over there, boom, to see. Like, if I'd have made it, see if, we'd have, if they'd have talked to them or something. Mm -hmm. But they still was coming. And it, it was on a, I was on a run, so I wanted to see if this man really had me so at, in tryout. Right. Bunk, because if I had tried out, we, we'd have worked something out. They, they'd have worked something out, but he ain't have that. They say you got shot when you were younger. You got shot? Yeah, yeah my leg. Yeah. Yeah. What you got shot for? Yeah, yeah. I was riding like somebody on the bike, on the back of the bike. And nigga was shooting at him. He wiggled and fell. So when I fell, trying to run behind the car, one of them hit me in my leg. Did he survive? He survived, right? They didn't even shoot him. They just shot me. He got away. I was running. I'm behind the van, I should be in my, my leg. I still got the bullet in my leg, too. What? what? So, 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 you know, when, when we read, like, Tell us about Soul in the Hole real quick before I, I you know, I say. Tell us about Soul in the Hole. Like, how did came, how did documentary happen? Soul in the Hole came from Danielle. It posed it been, oh it posed it been me, Skip, and Shamgar. She wanted to do Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan. So when she seen me play, she just said she don't want to do. She just gonna follow me around. She don't want to follow me around. So that's how it came up. After she seen me play, she started following me around, bringing the cameras around, going to all the games, the blue parties we was having and stuff. So it was that. That was it. So she didn't want to see Sham God and Nah. Even though they may have been nice to you. No, nah, they were nice to me. That's why she didn't want to see it. They posted me Queens, Brooklyn, and Manhattan. I know they was. Come on, come on. I know they was nice. Sham God was nice. 
I, yeah, he's Gosh, nice. He's not bro. nicer than me. Though. I ain't that. Come on, come on, dude. Nah, son, I ain't doing it like that. I ain't, I'm for real. I'm just. Bug, bug, it was me, bug. Yeah. I'm being for real. Sorry, but, nigga. He's good. They good. Skip good. Stephon Marbury good. Son, they not nice to me. Hmm. They not nice to me. What makes you better than them? What make me better than them? Good question. Like, everything. I put more <laughs> dedicated in it. My moves. Everything. Because <laughs> my moves is, is, is every, everything. Everything. Okay. Yeah, it's like. Have you guarded them before? Like, you. you, you have you guarded Skip one on one before in the game? Like, have you have you played him? Have you, have you yeah, high school. Shane we went in there high school. Yeah, they get busy, but they ain't booger. Mm. Yeah, booger, come on, stop they it. They ain't booger. Booger, stop. They, nah. It's me, booger. Don't do that. Nah. Don't do that. Booger. So I was throwing it between legs, his leg, my leg, wrapping them all at this damn same time, man. Huh? Mm. I was banging you with four moves and psh, let it drop there, nigga. Psh, dunking that, huh? So. Oh, <laughs> Them niggas be, nah. And they be carrying, walking. Nah. That shit is off. Let's go. And they both get busy, but. They wasn't, they nah. was, they ain't booger. Nah. I don't know about that, book. Nah. A lot of people be saying they don't know about the but Ask them. <laughs> you can ask them <laughs> themselves. <laughs> Ask who? Them. Who I'm, I'm skip. Ask skip when I see skip. Sham gone. Ask them. Those my people. They get busy, but ask them if you were. So they go. They're telling me that you were nicer than them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They all about yo. It's me, Biggie, and Jay Z. I'm the best in Brooklyn. Bugger, Biggie, and Jay Z. What? Oh. <laughs> Wow. Booger, Biggie, and Jay Z. Yo, 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 yo. I was Booger. Booger. Brooklyn Entertainment before Biggie Smalls, before Jay Z. I had Brooklyn going crazy. No, you didn't, Booger. Stop. Ah, ah, ah. I don't believe me. Talk your talk, Booger. Talk your talk, I don't think so, Booger. Nah, for real. So I said, what? I had leaving parks. When I go, they go. We're going to another game. We're going to meet you. Need a rap? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 how did you get in the slam magazine? They came to um downtown wanted to interview me, took me to juniors and stuff. I was went to go talk to them. And just talk to Slam. And I just came home too. I what think I was, just came home. What year you did Slam? I for, um, what year was that? Oh nine? Yeah. Something like that. I just came. So hold on, you real quick before we get to slam. You was on the run. You went back because they they funneled you. You couldn't get no none of the tournaments. They 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 they. they you said f basketball came back to to Brooklyn. Yeah. But you was on the run for two years. Mm-hmm. Tell us the day they caught you. By LG. I was by LG, coming out and I seen the lady. This lady owed me a stack. Boom. So she was from Fort Green, but I seen the. Bong. So when I pressed her like, what? and she seen me over there. So the, the next day, it was Saturday, I was going to the center to watch the basketball game. So I'm walking down the block. Man behind me like, yo, Booger. Look, white man, Booger. I said, yo, my name ain't Booger. Yo, that's messed up what happened in Fort Green yesterday, right? I said, yo, my name ain't Booger. So I'm keep walking down the train station. 88 precinct right there. Turn around again. Look down the block, the whole precinct coming. So I run down the train station. He thought I hopped on the booth and ran. And I ran around the corner. I was trying to come up the stairs over here. The lady like, no, he ran back up the stairs. The time I came up, the, them niggas, the other niggas, these was coming downstairs. Niggas threw me down. They tried. I had a beige North Face on, so I wasn't going down on the train on the floor. So psh, I got in the precinct, them niggas started clapping. Like, look who we caught. Boy, my and it was, it was over. Man. Was it rough for you up north? No. I ain't going to, like, people I know in jail. Like, I was going to niggas, my homies in them house. Because it's jail beef. Niggas be beefing in jail. And, and when you get in there, 
your man fight, you gotta fight. You just can't sit there. And, so I went to Puerto Ricans' houses and niggas' houses. I don't gotta help nobody fight. I just come in, do my time, I'm going home. Cause everybody got beef in jail. Everybody want. So, you did four years, right? Yeah. So I did that, playing ball, and that's it. When you so when you came home, you did slam. But but what I'm saying is that they said that they, oh, at one point you tried to get back into basketball, but you was out of shape. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. But when I went out of shape, when I went to go get back in shape, the guy who was giving me the job, he got a different, he got a different job. So the coach who wanted me, he went to Sun Wells. So then I, I just said, I'm ready for it. I just said, I just gave up. So you quit again? Mm-hmm. Back to the streets. That's not good, bro. I don't know, but you guys, how, what, what, I want you, you know, because because we we're pulling it out of you. I want. What would you tell the the kids though? Like because you know you had a chance to be one of the greats. You know what I'm saying, they say treat like people know you. I mean, we, we put a picture. They was like, yo, bro. But like, what would you tell? Like, what lesson did you learn? Could you I say a lot? The kids, you got to just be focused. You got they, they got to stay in school. They got to stay in school. They got to be focused. Don't be no follower. Be a leader. Cause you see somebody doing something, you don't you don't do it. You don't gotta do it cause he do it. You can stop try to stop him from doing it, but he don't. You can't do nothing. But they gotta stay in school. Gotta be focused and respect your elders. And and as, and you and they'd be great. See, my problem, I was in, I ain't stay in school. I ain't like school. So that's what came to that's why I was on the streets. I was dodging school. So it was it was I ain't, I ain't like school. I ain't like school. That's what fucked me up. If I'd have went to school, I could have had a better job than what I got now. I don't know, because you got niggas you just need a job, you need a G D I don't got none of that. No G D, no high school diploma. None of that. So Book, does it hurt you, bro? Do you ever get feel hurt like I messed up or you don't look at life like that? Yeah, cause I could have you know, did more for the people around me, the people I love. And mm-hmm. So it's Does it bother you at all, Book? Like does it ever do you ever sometimes? Think I can see it, Bobby, you, bug. Eyes getting watery, man. Damn, don't do me like that, bug. Don't, don't, don't make me feel bad, man. What, 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 is it more like you couldn't take care of, like, the family? Like, what, what, what bother you mostly about that, bug? If you don't mind me asking. I can't take care of my family. But you chose the streets. For because mm. you, but you can't now though. Yeah, yeah I'm now. going now. Yeah, so that's a job. What, that's what counts, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what counts. Hmm. You know what's so crazy? You know, like, that's probably, like, pent-up emotion built inside for a long time, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, like, do you do it bother you? Because you see your peers and everybody, like, pass you. Like, what bothers you the most about that? Like, what bothers you? Is it more the family? Like, yo, I messed up. Like, I made a decision. I didn't have guidance. Like, have you ever sat down and thought and put everything together, boys? Like, did you ever put everything together in your mind, like, of what might have messed you up? Did you ever put it, come together with it? Or you don't, like, you mm. never thought about it like that? Mm. Do the family? It's, yeah, it's like, I can't do what I can do for my What I supposed to do. 
I was to make sure they are. Right. I can't. And nobody wanted to help you. It was about basketball with them. That's all it was about. It was like it, it was just about basketball. They, mm -hmm. you, because you said a line earlier. They use you until they can't use you anymore. You said that something like that earlier. Mm -hmm. You feel like they just wanted to use you for basketball. Nobody really cared about your. Did you feel like anybody cared? Did anybody you come across care about your well being? Cared about <laughs> Booger? Cared about Ed? Did anybody care about you at all? Or everybody you came across was mostly. To work you into basketball. That's it. Mostly, yeah. Nobody, you didn't mean nobody that, that 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 rocked with you at all. There's nobody you could say off your mind like you know what Flip, you know what G, this guy right here, he believed in Booger. He believed in. I got one guy, Keith, and he used to be you know coaching me and stuff. He always was trying to tell me, do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. And I never paid attention to him. But what was the reason you didn't pay attention, boy? I was too focused with playing in these streets. Was it the fast money? Is it money? Is the is fast money the thing that got you? Like having fast money? It wasn't like the having fast money. It was that's the only way I could have get money. I couldn't get a job. Only way you can eat. Cause you had no So so but but and, and G said this earlier, like it's like you kind of, so I think that you didn't know how to sort of, because I read an article or I heard something where somebody said that you were, Boogs might have been afraid of, not that you couldn't obtain success, you were afraid of the process to get success. Somebody said something like that. Was was that what it is? Like the like not having the discipline, not being afraid to focus because you didn't have the discipline. Was the streets the easy way out for you? The streets was the easiest way out, if you think about mm -hmm. it. You know, because you sit here you, and you shed in tears, and I could imagine that people have so much expectations of you. Like, they said, like, we wanted you to be something. Do, they, do anybody ever say that to you? Do they rub that into your face, or you don't really hear yeah. something like that? I don't be hearing that You don't be hearing that? They don't play, no. don't play. Ah, all right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be that. But it's just, it's just to you and your personal feelings. Mm -hmm. You watched it. What, what, what makes you hurt the most? I mean, you say you can't take care of the family. But but do you watch basketball that bothers you? Do you see certain people that, that triggers these emotions? Does anything trigger these emotions? Or is it just that what we are talking about it that trigger the emotions? So about it. And this is not that as people. It's just I ain't where I, I supposed to be at. It's, it's not like I see it I'm on TV. I see that. No, it's not. It's, it's just I'm mad at myself. That's real though. I mean, I, I think that that's, you know, accountability is, is 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 definitely. You know, I respect anybody that take accountability for what what they uh, what they've been through. You know, what I'm saying because you could have pointed blame at everybody else, but you you taking accountability, you saying that you could have made a change and did things differently back then. So, got to respect that. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. we got to move forward and talk about what's what's going on now and 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 you know in the future and, and the positive aspect of it. You know, what I'm saying you've been working for three years now. You said. Mm -hmm. You could have still been in the same wave you were three, uh, you know, four years ago. So th things changing for the positive now. You know what I'm saying? So, d real quick, do you notice that uh, people like let's talk about the people real quick that that you played basketball with? Because you said when you was in Chicago, Steph just waved his hand at you. Let's talk about the people that you played basketball with, your peers. Did any of them turn their backs on, on you as well when you were coming up? Like you know, some people turn their back, act like they don't know you. Like, like, is it a cold world like that? Like, that's what mm -hmm. I want to understand. Like, mm -hmm. how cold does the world get, bro? It's and nobody, nobody. They only care about people. Only care about themselves. When they go like be your man. They want to see you f fucked up. They mad because they want to. They, they people ain't like me because I've been busting people's ass and shit. They get mad over on oh, this nigga. Oh, he did selling all he on sports shit. Little shit like that. That shit wasn't that ain't mean shit to me. I want millions. That shit ain't even this little I ain't even mean nothing. Oh, he this, he this. Psh, psh, psh. And you and you hear people, damn, this nigga smile on your face and these these niggas will talk about you. Talk. Like in stolen old 
in the movies. Some people saying negative, stupid stuff about me. I was in there when they was filming. I said, this nigga, did he really say that? But he didn't get in your face. Because when she was filming, I wasn't around people. And I, I ain't know. I ain't looked at the movie until when I when I sat down and watched the movie. I said, man, people talking negative. Like, I'm homeless. My mom's kicked me out. There was ain't none of that shit. Well, where did they get that information from? I don't know. Are you saying that now because you're like, there's no... Tr to, but are, can you admit that you did have a... Did you have a rough relationship with your mother at one point? No. Never had a rough relationship with your mom? Never I had... I respect my moms. I respect my mom. I respect all of you. I don't know. But you didn't listen, though. You did admit earlier to your flip. I didn't listen. Yeah, but my moms wasn't bunk telling me... It was like I was grown. It wasn't like she wasn't. I was. She wasn't sick. Cause she was outside. She was, yeah. she was doing her thing. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't nah. It wasn't nobody was on my back. Only one was is my grandmother. That's the only time she had to do stench cold, frying pans. That's it. That's why I went to Fort Rick. Get away from her. She was wilding. You can't have company. You can't go in the living room with your sneakers on. She was strict. No. My grandma wasn't playing. How long you lived with grandma for? For a while. So I went to Fort Green when I was like, what? 15? You think things would be different if your uh, pops was around? No. Growing up? You no, because he was wild. And he look at him, he... You know, I got other sisters and, you no, know, he wasn't, he was drunk. He wasn't, it wasn't, nope. Because hmm. he was over in Konyana, nope. I never knew him till later. So if he was, now what I know, he wasn't now. Because Larry, he wasn't, he wasn't doing good himself. Can I ask you a question? Was mom on drugs? My mom's? No. Oh, she wasn't on drugs. No. Beer, oh. sweet. Okay, so mom wasn't on drugs or nothing. But she was just outside. Like, she was, like, more, like, outside mingling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, like, basically raised yourself. Did you ever get mad at mom? Did you ever feel like mom was paying that much attention? Did you ever get mad at her? No. Never was mad at mom? Because I was always outside. I was always outside when I walk. This is, I don't want to see her till I come back in the house. <laughs> so it wasn't, nope. And once I go outside, I'm in the morning, you don't see me till night time. It's coming for, you have to come look for me. You got kids, bud? Yeah, two daughters. How old? 124 and 128. Mm. What's your relationship? What's your kids like now? The oldest one, I ain't been saying. I ain't saying on the net. My youngest one, tight. I got two grandkids too. Why you didn't see, Why you didn't see the oldest one? Cause me and mommy wasn't getting along, and and I was in denial, and I was young, like it was nine, uh, like I wasn't my kid. Oh. What's the last thing you've seen in the world? Years. A couple of years ago. How long? Four years ago. Was she 24? But you wasn't denying her then. Did you have an argument or something four years ago? It was... It's like... I'm ashamed because... She's doing good what I did for her. Come on, boy. Don't start that, boy. Don't start getting emotional, boy. You're killing me, man. Hurt my heart, boy. You make, come on, no, oh, God. Oh, she killing she me. wanna see me. She grown. I miss everything. Graduation. So what at the time, what were you doing at that time? Running the streets. You said that. You said you stopped running the street three years ago. At the time, what you mean? Like, like when, 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 when 
when, like you said, four years ago was the last time you saw her. So did you have an argument or anything? Like, was it was it bad? No, I ain't. No, I ain't was like. I seen the mother, and she was she was telling me yo go call her, buddy. I don't know what to say though. What made you deny her though, Buzz? What made you do the denial? I was young, and she, she running playing the streets. It was, you know, I am fucking a baby. What am I do with a baby? We kids. That ain't my baby. So then, how long did how long did it take until you met the little girl? Not, not long. It was I met brother. Then it just. That was it. Yeah, this is like that ain't my baby. I just. How much time did you was in a part of her life, bud? None. At all. So what made you be part of the younger one's life and not the older one? Cause was it I a... was with the old. I had a, that was my girl. We was together, but the the old the other my first one. We wasn't. It wasn't like that. I was with. I was cheating on that wasn't my girl. So did the disdain for the did the did the the issues with the mother prevent you from seeing your daughter or you was like I don't really rock with her so I I I, I don't because she was running the street so I don't think that's my baby was it something like that yeah. So yeah, when did was, you find out it was your baby? She when she was she was telling me it was my baby before it was coming up before she even had the baby. But my mom used to say, yo, that girl, she looks she looked just like me. I have the forehead and everything. But I was just it was it was she grown. It wasn't I wasn't there. She she graduated from college. She she's grown. Wait, and no. I ain't do nothing. So what I supposed to say to her? Wait, boys, hold on. What I'm coming out life for, and I don't got shit to give up. But you could talk to her, boys. You could talk to her and try to communicate with her, man. She probably want to speak to you. You don't think she? It's not about the money. You, 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 don't, you don't think she want to speak to you, boys? No, I wouldn't want to speak to me. That's what I mean. Same thing like my pops. I don't want to speak to him. He wasn't there. Gotta change the cycle now, man. You know what I'm saying? Gotta change the cycle now. It's just, just change, change the cycle. It's just change, change the cycle right now. Ain't too late. I don't think it's too late, bro. Did you try at all, bro? You gotta be honest. <laughs> Did you try? You didn't try at all, bro? Well, I gotta get at you, man. I, I love... Bugs, come on. <laughs> He yeah, said he, he, he said got nothing to offer. He said, I know. But, you know, I, I think, I think, you know. G, come on, G. He, come on, boys, man. And the mother like, yo, she don't want, she don't need nothing. You have a number? When's the last time you saw her mother? Like a couple years ago. Did you ever meet your daughter? Did you ever speak to her? So how did you meet her? I met her before. I can't remember before, but was like, I had a, and when she was in Marcy, that was a long time ago. What did you say to her? Tell us the encounter. I ain't, I ain't, I said I was going to come see her. I never went. Oh. Yeah. So what were you doing in Marcy, bug? I'll be out there too. Were you hustling? No, I was in hustling in Marcy. So you were just over there. And how did you see her? Can you, do you remember that day you saw her? Or you don't remember that day? Nope. Tell us the last time you saw her. Bring us to that day. With my daughter? Yes. I don't remember. Yes. I seen the mother. The mother, just, yo, she wanted to see you. She gave me the number. I lost the number. It was in my other phone. I lost it. It was just, I don't know what to tell her. If she listening right now, what do you want to tell her right now? Like, what would you want to say to her? Being that it's hard for you to, you know, 
to, to, to maybe get on the phone or see her in person. But, you know, like right now on this platform, you know, a lot of people watch the show. Somebody that probably knows her is going to probably forward her the video. You know, like, what would you want to say to her right now on camera? I love her. I miss you. I would love to see you. And I'm sorry. That's real. Your bugs, you breaking my heart, man. My bad, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> breaking my heart, but he's be strong. Come on, man. What's her name? You know her name? What's her name? Karen. Karen. She has your last name or her mom's last name? I think her mom. And what part of Brooklyn is Karen from? They're from Marcy. Karen from Marcy. I think that, you know, like G Money said, man, you got to break the cycle, Bugs. You you know, you, you're you going to be beating yourself up to death. You're going to be, because we, it's, it's it's hurting. You you shedding tears. And it, it, we could tell it bothered you because, you know, we have the capability of opening up the minds. But you got to break the cycle, Bugs. You have to. You may, I'll be watching you on, on live, you know, even if it's one or two people watching. you making the people around you laugh and you're enjoying yourself. Maybe she wants to feel that. You can't, dep- you know, it's never too late. It's never too late to say sorry. I'm saying I think that you hard on yourself, and I think that you, the reason why you hard on yourself is because you attribute or contribute or you take away from the mistakes that you made in basketball, and you and you and you put it into your real life, your relationship. Like, uh, nobody did nothing for me, and you know nobody checked for me, and I still had to make it. And you probably feel the same way about her. I didn't check for her. And she still made it, you know. She still did what she did. Nobody came back and checked for you. Did anybody come back and check for you? You got to break that cycle, like G Money said. On the bass switches. You gotta, you gotta, you. Gotta. Bass, I text, bass, what you texting us, man? He just texted us something with, <laughs> yo, yo, Basco, you can't text me. Why would you look? What you just text Jack Nicholson face? Why would, why would you text that? You know, we talking to bugs here, man. You bugged out. Nah, we got to you know, have a meeting. You can't do that, bro. Great work. <laughs> Why he texts us that face? That threw me off. Oh, that's crazy, you. bro. So what I'm saying is that you got to break the cycle, man. You know, shout out to Karen. Hopefully, you know, a lot of people will see this. I would love for you and Karen to get together because it's hurting you. But, boy, you got to break the cycle. As as a brother, I'm, I'm telling you, like, you can't beat yourself up, man. Like, you getting older. You know, it happened already, bro. I got to be real, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, out of love, I'm going to tell you, like, you got to let that, you got to let it go. Meaning, like, of what you could have been and stuff, you got to let it go and make new memories. That That is weighing you down, bro. Out of love, I'm telling you, I can just tell, bro, like, since earlier you was talking, your eyes started getting watered. You got you to gotta let it go. It happened, bro. And that's love. Like, it happened. Like, I feel bad for you. You're making me sad. It It, it, it happened. Can't go back to it. Got to try to do something and get up with these programs and teach these kids and, and make another booger and tell them what to do different. Not make them go down your path. You got to be a leader because you got the capability of it. You funny, you charismatic, and you cool. You got positive. You got to let that go, bugs. It's, it's killing you, bro. And that's love I'm telling you. Like I can see it, bro. It's eating you. It's going to keep eating you inside. Got to come to a realization. Like, it happened. You didn't have the guidance. You didn't have nobody there, but you here to talk to us now. You here to make us smile. You make the you here now. You here on flip the script. That's God working. God let it go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Real talk. Come on, Dunn. Give me a pass, Dunn. You gotta let that go, Dunn. Come on, Dunn. <laughs> Come on, Dunn. Come on, Dunn. Come on, Dunn. You gotta let that go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Dunn. You gotta let that go, bro. I know, man. All the time, bro. Come on, Dunn, man. Let it go, man. You gotta teach the kids, you gotta show the kids and tell them, you gotta let it go. I know it hurts you, bro. They talk about you, you gotta let that go. You gotta teach them now, man. You gotta school the youth, and, and there's a lot of programs that and teach the kids of, of how you did your moves. It's a lot of programs, and a lot of us, man. You got G Money, you got myself. You gotta let it go, man. Take us some fun. I just had to give you a hug, man. man thanks for that. Calm me, Yeah, G. Uh. Nah, that's, that's real. I definitely, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, 
anybody that's tuning in from Brooklyn, man, you know that 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 knows, you know his daughter knows Cameron, you know respectfully, you, you know let her know, tap in, you know what I'm saying. Uh, she could definitely watch the whole interview, but let her know to fast forward to, towards the end somewhere to catch this part right here. Mm-hmm. This is the most important part of it. You know what I'm saying for her to see this, and hopefully she'll reach out. You know what I'm saying. Hopefully you guys will connect, and uh, like you said, make make new memories, man. Make make good memories. Yeah, she, 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 as, as a father, so, I mean, you know. What's your standpoint on it? What's your standpoint as far as in life and stuff like that and how both, because we both heard the story and you can see in and out. If you watch the interview, mm. you know, some moments his eyes, you know, get watery and then he'll go back. Nah, so for sure. I think, I, I think what you said 100% is, is, is on point. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't, we can't go back to, 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 to 90, 91, 92, 97. You can't go back to, to playing with Jordan. You can't go back to the soul, you know, the whole the Slam Magazine, those days is, you know, it is what it is, it's history, you know what I'm saying, you definitely made your mark, obviously, on a street ball legend uh, status, that's why you're here today, you know what I'm saying, for who you are, what you did, so now let's 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 move forward and figure out how we can make, you know, history a, a, as a man, you know what I'm saying, as a grown man, you know what I mean, you got kids, you got your, your two kids who, you know, they obviously are going to look for you, and, you know, I don't think they're going to uh, count you out of the story. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think this. I think it's a different story for you this time around. So, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what your your pops did for you, I think you, you could change. Like I said, change the cycle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, this the, is a big pocket. The, 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 those those two young ladies. You know, you said 22, 28. Mm-hmm. You know, 24, they, 28. 24, 28. They they grown. You know what I'm saying? But they, I'm pretty sure. You know, you can reach out and make some happen. And if, if it don't go in your favor, at least you won't live with the regret of what if or you know I should have would have could have like you tried you reached out if they re- rejected then it is what it is but at least you you know you're going in the right direction you know what I'm saying so Cause it, it, we could tell it, it way on you done and you gotta there's a lot of kids out here you gotta like you know I was watching it live and I sat there you were in a car and it was like me and somebody else and then you were saying I could teach a whole blind team you know mm-hmm. a, a roster of blind mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and a lot of kids make you know a lot of kids want to learn basketball and stuff like that. And people are gonna see this, and 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 I feel like you know like it happened already though, bro. That's how I feel, man. Yeah, I think with, with with his with his knowledge and his passion of the game, I think he definitely could teach. You know what I'm saying? These kids. I watched I watched the uh, I just watched a series on Netflix too called um, We Are the Saints. They're from Brooklyn. Football oh team. yeah, I just watched it too. Yeah. Dope. You know what I'm saying? Those guys are those guys are real passionate about. You know their whole message is like, uh, let's let's keep the kids off the street and teach them something. Like they they play football, so they teach them football and try to at least get them a college education. You know what I'm saying? That was the whole message. So yeah. I think you can at least you know be a part of something like that or start something with basketball and keep them kids in Brooklyn off the streets and you know what I'm saying? Like that mm. whole documentary had me kind of like teared up too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Did. yeah, I like you know what that mean? too. So that's that's something real. And that's, that's from your town in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. I think you definitely could teach, you know, uh, like you said, a blind, a blind team how to play. Right. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's, I did just watch that football too. Nah, that's fine. I think you know these, these kids need to hear these stories, even though the story is, is a little sad and it's touching that you got, but they gotta hear this, man. Like th- this is important. You know, every story is not the Cinderella story. It ain't the ain't the fairy tale. Like some guys didn't go, get to go to the league or go to get the million dollar contract and stuff like that. Some guys didn't make that, but they still here today. They still stand as a man first. You know what I'm saying? So and, the, and, 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 and that's what it is, man. The thing is, you got to just, it's going to come together, man. They're going to see, man. I don't know, man. I, I don't, because I remember even when we was reaching out, you was like, you thought it was, a, you didn't know it was real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. real. <laughs> you, know what I'm real. So, you know, do you have any, any, any words though that you want to, before we wrap it up, that you want to tell the people, the kids out there, anybody that that, that want to listen from Booger, just anything, just, you know, give you a couple minutes to express yourself. Yeah, I want to, like, you tell the kids, you know, stay in school, listen to your parents, you know, respect the elders and stuff. You know, you can help somebody, help them out and stuff. And enjoy life. And take it one day at a time. And keep your head up. If you if you had a chance to go back, what would you go back and do different? Really, I will. Now, only thing I do different is being in my daughter' life and stuff, and and just you know pay more attention and just go to school, and that that was really it. Just my daughter life and go to school and 
and that was about it. Everything else, I was it was okay. I won't change nothing else. Cause if I'd have did that, that had changed the other stuff. Stuff would have been different. Mm. But ah 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 ah. Tell the people your Instagram. Ed Booger Smith, and no, it's Booger two four three, and Facebook is Edward Smith. <laughs> I got a lot of them because. They be throwing me in jail and I'll be losing no, phone. So. I got Booger Smith, 6'7, but I'm telling y'all the one I'm on. Why they be throwing you in jail? What you be doing on that joint? Uh uh. I don't like playing music and, and stuff to my own. No copyright or nothing, but <laughs> they let you, people up there arguing and fighting, they won't stop that. Uh, but if you play a song, y'all wanna stop that, but people up here cursing each other out, body kill each other. They don't stop, ain't stopping that. Yeah, it's it's Booger Smith two four three. Yeah. On your page though, every time we go to your page, you just post some pictures of people, man. Happy birthday. Yeah, those it, people's, you know. It be their birthday. You just saying it. No, it be their birthday. Yeah. Every day is my birthday <laughs> on your page. Ah, 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 happy birthday, my daughter. Ah, 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 happy birthday, look, happy birthday. I never see nothing like this. Like, uh, you know, a person's birthday every, every day, bro. <laughs> Look, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I never seen nothing like this in my life. Yo, my, 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 my sister said the same thing. They said, yo, this nigga's like, everybody's birthday. Hey, everybody birthday. It be a real birthday, though? Yeah. When yeah. your birthday? March 22nd. Coming uh, up. Yeah. Okay. How old, how old are you turning? Me, 47. My own brother birthday, March 20, I mean, February 21st. My little brother. Yeah, mine's March. Mm. I better see a big post on the page for that one. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, right. Say something, dude. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, man. Well, G. Yo, man, that's it for me, man. I'm good. That was, that was you know. Such an episode, man. Heart for the very heartfelt. <sighs> killed me, G. You killed me, man. Me? <laughs> yeah, you killed me, man. Sign up. Round pause. You want to get? Yeah, of course, man. You deserve it, man. You deserve it, man. You know what I You deserve it, man. Shout out to the man Bugs one time, man, coming through, telling a story, and uh, you know, being being uh open to share his story. You know, what I'm saying, hopefully, hopefully, you guys learn from this. You know, what I mean, this this is de- definitely um inspirational. You know, what I'm saying, shout out to anybody who. Is looking to play sports, whether it's basketball, baseball, football. You know what I'm saying? Definitely learn from from the story and, and uh, you know, just uh, learn from the story. Moving the right path, man. You know, uh, like you said, stay focused, stay in school. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Listen to your parents. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, outside of that, man, dope episode. Uh, make sure you follow the pages at DJG1156 at Queens Flip with a Z. At Flip the Script Pod, you know what I'm saying? At Picky Eater Show, season four coming soon. Um, so. <laughs> Shout out to today's sponsors one time, man. KK Collection, you know what I'm saying? Straight out of Cleveland, Ohio. Um, like I said last time, man, you guys make custom pieces, so you can't you can't get this right here on the page. But if you want to if you want to follow them, check them out. Um, at K, let me get the Instagram page one time. I don't mess with my Instagram page up. Hold on, get the Instagram joint. At K A D S underscore K O R N E R three one four one one time for KK Collection y'all uh, shout out to y'all shout out to the whole Cleveland one time appreciate it you know what I'm saying the custom piece kind of nice though got the red joint I had a yellow joint last time got the red joint this time ah 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 maybe one day we can get you some uh, nah you about to you about to <laughs> we got something coming up for you boy <laughs> yeah, I had a video dropping on you tomorrow you gotta get a little KK collection though man. yeah I had a video dropping right, on you man. tomorrow boy tomorrow about yeah, me a lot of, I got a lot of receipts on you you know a lot of, lot of joints yeah yeah you two gonna be the frenzy tomorrow boy receipts on me alright we'll see I'll wait for it <laughs> I'll wait for it <laughs> you listen Great. Pretty soon, flip. You know, that's what I'm gonna say, man. Pretty soon, you'll be able to to give yourself, yeah, your, uh, your, your own. He cool, man. Without me even doing it, that's what I'm gonna say. For oh, people, I'm man. finished. So you around? Man. Shout to the boy, room. Shout to uh, 
uh, Dex and um, Dex and Dennis. All right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pretty soon, everyone could be at home on Instagram giving themselves that he cool man. You know what I'm saying? Without me being there. That's what I'm gonna say. You got something in the works? Possibly. Yeah. It's already. It's already. It's already. It's already there. I'm just not gonna expose it just yet. You know what I'm saying? It's already. It's already there, man. It's already there. Should I, should, I, should I give you a preview right now while we online? Yeah, I, yeah, please. I ain't gonna tell the people mm-hmm. though. I can't tell the people just yet because I want to make it. I want to get the merch and I want to get everything just in order and then same time just launch it out. Oh, yeah, let me you know see. Let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show my, my my man's one time on a, on a joint one time since you know since he cool. I'm, I'm gonna show him a little a little something. What's going on over here? I'm gonna show you a little something that's going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let me show you a little something. Yo, yo, <laughs> gee. So you ain't gonna ask me no more. See, now you ain't gonna ask me no more. I'm gonna just show you the camera like this. That's it. Boom. G. Yo, G. Nah, G. Crazy. Yo, you know what's so crazy? <laughs> Y'all always talk about me, man. See, look, look, look. That's about me. Mm. This man got hidden devices and hidden joints, hidden apps. You see? He don't need me. Huh? He don't need me. Do my own podcast, Shit. right? <laughs> I do my own shit. I don't need flip no more, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> my time you leave me. It's been it's been it's been, 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 been a long time. What, what, what year we met? I want to say about oh oh six. When Chicken Noodle came out. Oh six. That's when, yeah. I think right after the video though. The video was already done. I think the song was already 16. out. Yeah, the video the video was already out. The song was already out. So after you get game with the CD, at the at my show day. For the fifteen years. Yeah. Queen Flip URL TV. Unfortunately. Shout out to DJ G Money, man. He, you know, he'll talk about whatever you're going to talk about, man. Yes. We've been talking about this for a long time, man. Yes. Um, we, we, we see your videos and it's a lot going on. We'll get to it in due time. But lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. If you see a nigga like Booger on your lawn, put it away. He don't mean no harm. <laughs> Let him in. He's going to be like, ah, 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 <laughs> and ring the alarm and then pull out your firearm I'm from Queens <laughs> <laughs>